Hello, hello. Good evening. Hey, what's up, Mr. Google? Good evening. Good evening, Yoseline. How are you doing? Good evening. What's up? Uh, I'm good. Ready for the class, I, I think. Okay. Awesome, awesome. Let's just wait for the rest of your classmates. Man, I just have a great story for you. You almost go out of a teacher today. You almost lose me today. That Why? Could, that would have been so sad news, right? To lose your teacher. Because I was repairing my vehicle. I was repairing the, the golf. Mm -hmm. And um, a neighbor, how do you say this? A neighbor borrowed me. Um, it's not a drill. Hold on. It's, it's this device where you put a disc to cut metal, to cut sheet metal. Pulidora? Mm, uh, yes. Pulidora, pero de una tipo de sierra eléctrica. Uh, yeah. Polisher, a polidora. A polisher, a polisher. But ah, that's the idea. The thing is that I bought, I bought some wire uh, brush, a wire brush for la pulidora, for the polisher. Mm -hmm. Okay, and it was like fourteen dollars, but it was like this really strong, strong wire, you know, strong alambres, really strong. The thing is that I had to polish all the corrosion, all the all this rust, the rust on the metal, on the hood, on the on the how do you call this on the trunk, the trunk of the of the golf. It's mm -hmm. really, it's very rusty, right? So I was mm -hmm. doing that and the cable that runs from the battery to the stoplight on the back mm -hmm. on these cars is exposed. Mm -hmm. you know, okay. it's, a whole, it's a whole cable covered all the way to the back. So I put it, I put it aside while I was polishing the rust on the sheet metal and somehow it fell, it fell and the polisher grabbed it. So it was like, mm -hmm. man, and it hit my stomach. So I, I got a, I got a little wound on my stomach because it was like a latigo, you know, like, wow, man, that hurt a lot. The next time you have to use protection for that. I know, and I was told, my neighbor told me because he, he brings cars from the States he imports cars and he's always he's always repairing a car outside his garage. He's always repairing a different car from a neighbor, a car that he brought, you know. And the guy, the guy has like five business businesses, but that's his hobby, you know. He brings a car per month, two cars per month, and he he repairs them himself. Mm -hmm. He has a, a workshop too. So whenever I need something, he goes like, hey, I, I have this polisher, you know, if you want to use it, so you, you can do that faster, you know, and then you paint it. Man, it, it, it was amazing. I, I'm so amazed that the car is in good conditions, but it's giving me some <laughs> lessons. <laughs> I almost get killed myself. <laughs> I was like, wow. Better in the stomach than in your face. <laughs> yes, that's exactly what I thought, man. And I was I was wearing glasses, I was wearing gloves, strong mm -hmm. gloves, but I wasn't uh, covering my my chest or anything, you know. So things happened. Okay, that was my story. What about you? Do you have something interesting to tell? No, maybe related to, to your history. I prefer I prefer uh, to pull pull in the, the car with a uh, with the hands. I, I no no it's just well polishing with that thing is awesome I guess, but 
I was removing the rust from the shit uh, metal. Did the, how do you say Sierra? Oh, so, so was for metal, no the, for pulling paint. Oh, right, right. No, it was just to polish uh, rust, to remove the rust from the sheet metal. You know what is rust? Rust is, uh, es como mojo. Oxido. El, el oxido. Uh huh. Yeah. So the mm -hmm. more, the, the and more. And after you, you, you want to, to paint, to paint. Okay. I think I, I will apply um, masilla after that, and then I will paint it. Yes, I, I think it's, it's not the same with, with lija. No, it's just the point is to remove the rust, to save to save the cart for a few more years. Pulling uh, is more effective. Than actually, pulling. cutting cutting the sheet metal, welding mm -hmm. new new sheet metal is better. But it's gonna take a lot of time. But I'm I'm happy. I'm loving it. I'm I'm I love what I'm doing right now. I'm very excited doing something, you know, it's my hobby. Many years ago, my wife told me, everybody needs a lover. <laughs> I was like, what? She sent a presentation when we were uh, in a relationship, you know, not, not husband and wife, um, but boyfriend and girlfriend. We were dating and she sent me this presentation, everybody needs a lover. And then the presentation talked about how in your life you need something extra. I mean, it's not okay. It's not okay to have a person being the center of your life. You need to have hobbies, maybe friends, but something to do, something that that makes you feel alive. You know. Yes, in my case, uh, I I went to. To buy a supercomputer with three or, or, or why more. Don't you, why money. don't you make it? Why don't you make it, Fernando? Because uh, my I don't have time. If if I buy a, a computer, we have I have to, to spend a lot of money. And mm. my 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 first goal actually is buy a house. I I prefer mm. to buy a house first, and maybe in the future I. You will never buy a house, right, Haiti? <laughs> That's too much money. That's I mean, it. yes, get a loan, get a loan with a bank, you know, get a house, but you will die paying the house. And you will pay the house. Listen, you will pay the house with your death. Yes, I, I know, but <laughs> That's reality. Don't yeah, listen to that. Is, Most is, people I, is paying their loan. Don't be like is, that. If no, I, will. I mean, it's if it is an expensive true. car and you're just a worker like me, I, I'm 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 realistic. My house worth eighty thousand right now. My house worth eighty thousand, and I owe I owe the bank like sixty five or still after oh my god after eight years. I still owe like 65,000. It's a lot of money. That's because the first years uh, of a mortgage, the, uh, the most of the pay goes to, to the interest rate. Yes, that's uh -huh. true. But, but in some years, you'll find out that your, your debt is going to, to be paid. Hopefully. Don't I... think you're going to pay the debt with the interest. <laughs> You must be that. realistic. Uh, I am because optimist. there's there's a, optimist. there's an insurance. There's an insurance. There you know. Isn't. Yeah, and, and listen to this, Fernando. Just for my experience, I want to tell you that when you get a house, you get a mortgage, um, you get an insurance for both your husband and your wife. You know, both of you are insured. If one of you passed away, then the mortgage is, um, how do you say this? Is cleared. You don't owe anything. So the one that survives, that's the house. <laughs> yes, yes, yes or no. Uh, I am optimist. I, maybe it's better for me in the future. <laughs> yeah, you said you have to start thinking about someone else that is not in your life yet. Yes, yes. That, that is, uh, I, I am I am not, I'm not, when my family 
don't have properties or house. Uh, I am maybe 15 years with my family renting renting oh. houses. I never and, made that yeah. never made sense to me. What do you think, Heidi, about renting instead of owing your house? Uh, I couldn't be because I rent houses. Okay. And I, what can I tell you? <laughs> I I guess for a starting, it's okay to, to be renting. But as soon as you get your own family, you must think a little bit more serious and, mm -hmm. and buy a house. If, if you advice. think about that, a house is more, the... more important than a car because yes. uh, in these days, people only think about cars. Motorcycles. They buy very expensive cars and they don't own a house. I don't get why. Yeah. Is, the you, most you important think about... thing in life is a house. Yes. Totally. Uh, and if, it's not easy. Are... It's not easy. I'm sure it's not easy, but it's an investment. Uh, we have to make an extra effort. Mm -hmm. We have to try it. If you are renting right now, you you are paying the house for some something else. Let me give you another example. <laughs> My father-in-law has um has some piece of land. He bought a piece of land like in three thousand dollars, like twenty years ago, I think, or something like that. You know where it is? It is in El Puerto. We we well, they are from El Puerto La Libertad. And now that they just build the surf city, mm -hmm. that land, that piece of land that he paid 3000 for is like three blocks away, like three blocks away from the road from surf city. Wow. That I, and he was like, I'm going to sell it. And I was like, no, mm -hmm. no, not yet. Not yet. Just wait, wait. They're building residentials, you know, big places all around so man he was so lucky that he never listens to me he, he's like no i'm gonna sell it so later he's got like oh i should have listened to you <laughs> so, it is what it is you know but it, man buying land is, is is a great investment okay we are 23 welcome people please turn on your camera we always have good topics i like that Hey, let's start the class. I'm just going to do the attendance. And then yesterday, nobody told me, hey, teacher, the question, teacher, the open question, the homework. Mm -hmm. OK, let me do the attendance and then we're just going to practice. Oh, my God. Practice talking for a few minutes and we're going to jump into our workbook. Is there's something else to cover? Give me one second. Okay, uh, where were we? Let's see. Just get this. Can you hear my wife yelling at the kids on the background? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Give me one second. We are humans. Today is Tuesday, October 26. People, two months more, and the year is over. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present, teacher. Good Welcome. evening. Good evening. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Present. Andrés Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present, teacher. Good evening. Welcome. Elvin Arcides Eguizabal Martínez. Present. Good evening. Good, Good night. Good night. Irwin Lagos Andrade. was there. Present, present. Hey, hey, welcome, welcome. <laughs> Fernando <laughs> Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present. Thank you. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chavez. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Antonio Cubillas Hernandez. Present teacher. Welcome. Josué Alberto Salas Benítez. Present teacher. Welcome. Juan Francisco Enriquez González. Present teacher. Thank you. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Present teacher. Hey, welcome. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Present teacher. Thank you. Miguel Angel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Welcome. Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana. 
Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Thank you. Werner Mauricio Reyes Ángel. Werner, Werner, no. Okay. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Excellent. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Welcome. Zuleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Excellent. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Man, what's going on with Alan? Carolina Yvette Romero Avelino. Present. Where is Alan? I don't know. <laughs> Missing in action. Oh my God. Find out. Irene Azucena Cuellar Albanet. Present. Excellent. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Iván Manuel Jerez Pérez. I'm back, teacher. Excellent. Welcome. Thank you. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Yo sé que se va manejando. Por favor, tenga cuidado. I know you're there. Thank you. Teacher. Wendy okay. Patricia Molina Thank Duarte. You, Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Good. Impican. I don't know what is Impican. Nice picture. Okay. So, hmm. Josué Alberto. No, teacher. Give me a number between one and 27, please. Uh, 15. 15. Another one? Uh, you say 27. 23. 25. Okay. Ivan. Ivan Manuel Les Perez, what is your open question? Me? Yep. Okay, remember I asked you to bring an open question to the class, something that will make your classmates talk, 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 talk. Okay. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I pass for this time. Okay, select someone else then. Twenty-four. Twenty-four. Okay. He's she's not here. Okay, let's make this volunteering. Can somebody let me see who's a good student? I want to know who's a good student who has an open question for the class. Any question, remember, it could be any topic, it's just an open question that can make we can make us talk for a minute. What is your biggest regret? Oh, okay. <laughs> That's a tough one. Who wants to give an example how to answer this question? What is your biggest regret? I don't want to answer that question. It's too hard for me. <laughs> uh huh. Can somebody give an example? How do you answer this question? What is your biggest regret? Uh, well, in my case, it's easy. <laughs> uh, when I was a child, uh, my mother said to me, uh, so sorry. Uh, uh, that uh, you have to study English, and I, I don't, I didn't, I didn't hear, 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 hear her, um, hear her, yes, hear her, and I prefer, I preferred uh, to play soccer every every Saturday, <laughs> and now I am, I am regretting. Now um, you're a soccer player. Now you're a no, superstar. <laughs> oh that, no, that, that, that didn't happen. No, to. <laughs> that, that, that is a, it, the she she she. She told me. She talked. She taught me mm -hmm. that uh, the the football, football soccer, uh, uh, one. Uh, won't give to you to eat or something. Won't feed you. Won't feed you, but, but the, the study, yes, so you have to study English and I didn't hear her. <laughs> oh, 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 oh my God, how many they felt identified with her <laughs> the story? 
you know, I don't know where will I be. I have to be honest with you. I don't know where will I be without English. As simple as that. I could know a lot of things. I have friends that are lawyers, doctors, um, psychologists, engineers working in call centers. It's reality. Okay, good question. Okay, so what is your biggest regret, right, Alex? Yeah. What is your biggest regret? Okay. What is your biggest regret? We only have 10 minutes for this activity. Make sure you talk because I will choose you to come to the front. Okay. And you have to talk for one minute nonstop. Okay. Try to perfectionate this question. Let's have fun for a minute and we move on with the topic later. Okay. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hello, how are you? Hello, guys. Hello, Renee. Hello, Adam. Hello, Chris. How are Hello. you? Hello, Sandra. Okay, what is your biggest regret? It's very difficult. Biggest, the biggest, 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 super lucky, biggest. I know, I know, I know. Getting married, getting married. What's no married. <laughs> the first, the first. <laughs> No. Come on, guys. Okay, I, I have a, I have a, a regret. A regret. Uh, in, in a traffic, in, like near the hospital, uh, it was a uh, uh, difficult traffic. Um, <clears throat> I choked, how do you say, choked with, with other I, guys. I crashed. Back and you cry in back my car with other with an, uh, another vehicle. Uh huh. Yeah, it was a, a bus, micro bus, and I, I, I don't a know. A bus. How you say. A bus. Mm -hmm. A bus, and then then uh, the 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 guys started to say bad words, words. and I don't know that's. Uh, uh, made me. I got upset. You got upset. Annoyed. Yeah, and I, I start to fight with him in middle of the. In the middle of the street. Oh the my God, street. And I ride the police. Police and, came. Police came. Yeah, yeah uh -huh. the, the police came. And both we went to the jail. <laughs> oh my God! Really. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, so I had to three day had to. You you jail. spent you spent three days in jail. Yeah, I spent three days what? in jail by that. <laughs> Bad decision. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, yeah, <laughs> because I know. <laughs> and the, the regret is that now you have a record, right? You have a record on the police. I think they keep record. Yeah. Yeah, I had to break room about that, but I lost the my the mind, and I didn't I didn't lose that call. And awesome. that's my you regret. Okay, regret. keep it up, guys. Keep it up. Uh, yeah. I, uh, now I live in Chalatenango for my job. Uh, since uh, twenty. 
uh, 13, um, I met a, a, a girl and we had a relationship for five yeah. or, or six months, but uh, she uh, uh, traveled to USA and before she left, I could, I don't know, teacher how to say, finish my relationship or we broke up. We broke up. How can I say that? Yeah, I broke up with her because she left to the United States, to United States for, okay. I think, for distance. But I have a communication with, with her and she got married and she has three, uh, two beautiful um, uh, Boys, um, sometimes I change. <laughs> yeah, but sometimes I like I call her, and um, uh, she said she told me that now he's thinking to uh, how do you say divorce? Get divorced? Yeah, he is in the is uh, get divorced, but I have the regret if I I didn't uh, finish my, how do you say, I, I remember is broke up with her. Now um, we will be uh, together. Be together, yeah. No. ¿Quién, diría que, have, ¿Quién diría que un grupo de hombres hablando de cosas de amor me da solo hombres? Ya, <risa> 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 yeah, yeah, never feeling. Seven years, years, years ago, I'm single and she's married. Oh my you God. To... And you, you're still thinking about her. Wow. You have to yeah. be a, a good stepfather, man. <risa> Maybe. Prepare. Prepare <laughs> yourself. That's his life. <laughs> yeah, I think I think it's a normal when I when I was uh, young, uh, there are different situations when you when you have the first love and the first il illusion uh, change the the part you, you can see. You can see you can see the 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 thing uh, so different because yeah. uh, that you fail the illusion, you fail the love. Uh, so, so I think so. Uh, it, when when is the first love? Uh, it, the illusion, the the different feeling you never have uh, is a, is amazing. Yeah, I, you know what? I think that the beginning of a relationship it's always the best. It's like that <laughs> yeah. feeling of hiding, you know, doing things that you're not supposed to do. You know, if it starts like that, man, it feels, wow. I mean, and, and, and if she's beautiful, I mean, you're blind. It's an illusion, as, as yeah. Elvin says. Yeah, I think this law is is poor, poor. I don't know if it's correct. Poor? Puro. Oh, it's poor, pure, yeah. pure. pure. Pure, okay. It's a pure. Right? The first uh, time you have a uh, you have a failing to uh, love. You have to fall in love. Yeah, later. Eventually, you realize. Yeah. Yeah, but later on, when you get married, you realize that love doesn't exist. I mean, love is just an illusion. In the end, and and yeah. pure, pure love, pure love is someone willing to give it his life or her life for you if that woman yeah. is willing to give her life for you man that, that's that's love yeah i re i remember uh, uh i took uh, my situation uh, uh i remember i record uh different song in cassette 
and I sent to US. <laughs> yeah. You used to call I, the radio. I, you used to call the radio, right? Hey, can you yeah. play this song, please? But the sh don't talk, okay? I'm going to record. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you uh, listen to radio. You, okay, you, okay, I listen, start the, the song, and then record, start the song, and, and sometimes uh, the locutor, I don't know if it's correct. The DJ. Uh, uh, okay, a DJ uh, speaking uh, the record, <laughs> the song no, is okay. Then uh, another time you call uh, the again the the radio, the radio uh, yeah. again to record. Yeah, <laughs> I remember, but it's a it's a it's a it's a, ton, it's a the time is so different in that. Yeah, life. our kids, our kids miss that. Our kids totally yeah. miss that. Man, that was excitement. That's that was crazy, man. Cassettes are gone. We're very old. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> We're old. I mean, I I showed my kid a cassette um recently and he was like, What what is these? How how do you play this? <laughs> oh, no, it was a cassette for yeah. the cas the cassette player of the of the cars. Remember when yeah. the first CDs came out? There was a cassette that you used to put on the cassette player to listen to the CD. I was like, <laughs> now you can you can uh, you can listen to music in Walkman. I don't remember some on that, Walkmans. That. Yeah, well, Goldman, Walkman. You, uh, you, and, and your hair you put uh, on the three. Oh, that is a, a bigger. No, it's a. I don't know. Era demasiado grande. <laughs> it was too big. Yeah. <laughs> too big. Yeah, that's too big. Man. You, you, uh, yeah. Technology. It's Technology. A, it's an, yeah. Do you it's remember a, the disc that they, they call computer. it? The disc man. The disc man. The disc man. Yeah, disc man. that's correct. Okay, guys, keep it up. We're almost done. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> um, face on games. On games? Hmm? On games? Ganancias. Oh. Ganancias de, de... No, ganancias no ejecutadas, le llama. On... Unexecuted, unexecuted gains? What are, you, what are we talking about? <laughs> investment? About That's, crypto. Yes. Crypto about coin investment. Oh, <laughs> your regret. Don't tell me. Your regret is same as mine. <laughs> Man, it went up so fast. How much is it right now? For a, for a Bitcoin? Has, um, I think 50. 60. 60. It 60. went down like four. It went down like 4,000. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. They're planning to, they're predicting for it to go up to 72 by Christmas, right? Up to seventy-two thousand on Christmas it may happen. It may happen. I, I, all I know is that I had, I had three cents on my Chivo wallet, and now they are seven cents. <laughs> so like, what? <laughs> What's good? You're going up. <laughs> yeah. Who gives you four cents? Who gives you four cents nowadays? Nobody. Nobody. <laughs> That's money. Okay, I hope you were able to speak about the toxic girl or the toxic boyfriend, ex-boyfriend. Let's go back. Okie dokie. 
My God, where is that thing? There it is. Okay, okay, okay. How do we do this? How do we do this? I need to select three students to participate in the class for one minute each. Do we have a volunteer? You are watching videos to improve Me? your voice? Me? What do you mean? Um, yeah, I've been I, I've been watching Mickey Mouse on on TikTok. <laughs> Mickey Mouse. Oh. Mickey Mouse doesn't oh. speak. I love cake. What is that? <laughs> you haven't seen Mickey oh. Mouse on TikTok. He's crazy. Okay. No, no, it's just you know, lately I I've I've spent four days with this chronical pain on my throat. So I was speaking really deep. I was watching videos about a guy in TikTok on TikTok, and they talk about uh, the ways that you can improve and impact with your with your voice. And it is mimicking. You have to speak. In, no, you have to speak uh, so slowly and open your mouth and. With I, I don't know how to say that. Um, uh, tiene que sacar más sus agudos. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To sound more like jury, for example. Yeah. <laughs> so more like jury, definitely. Every time yeah. jury, jury speaks, I go like, are we on the radio? <laughs> <laughs> you have very good, good evening, voice for the people. radio. Good. Hey, can you repeat that, Jerry? Good evening, people. Good evening, people. Ah, now come here. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Do you remember? Yeah. Good morning, Vietnam. William. Who was it? Robin Williams, right? I loved Robin Williams. Hey. Yes, actually, acting is something that I usually do on my basic classes. We play this game of emotions so i put the wheel of names i put the wheel of names again but with emotions and if you get i don't know crying for example <laughs> you, ha you have to speak crying for example if i ask you right now what is your biggest regret you will say i remember my biggest regret is and you have to act why is it important why is it important Because speaking English is becoming someone else. You're speaking a total new language, okay? You have to become some uh, someone else. If you meet me in person, I am not like this, okay? I am more, I don't know, talkative, more funny, more, I don't know. I'm a Salvadorian, <laughs> just like that. But before the class, I have to focus no, I'm not kidding. I before the class, I breathe for 10 seconds and I repeat to myself, this is gonna be an awesome class. This is gonna be an awesome class. I'm gonna have an awesome class. Okay. My students speak English. My students speak English. My students speak English. That's out of my control, but I just say it, you know. And this is called listen, this is called incantations. Incantations. Tony Robbins is a very good speaker in YouTube, TED Talks. Tony Robbins? No? Kind of? No? Mm -hmm. Okay. He is always a, a motivator. He's a motivator. And he talks about these incantations that you can repeat to yourself every day in the morning in front of the mirror. Look at yourself and repeat. Yo, Rafael Rodriguez, soy una persona muy positiva. Yo, Rafael Rodriguez, peso 170 libras para el 16 de diciembre y soy muy feliz. Al principio no te lo vas a creer, pero después poco a poco, poco a poco, se puede. Lo logras, no sé ni cómo, pero funciona. El tiempo ayuda tu inconsciente, le estás hablando a tu inconsciente, decís tu nombre, te estás hablando a ti mismo. ¿Ok? Eso tiene mucho poder, funciona, se los recomiendo mucho. ¿Quieren alcanzar algo en la vida? Repítanselo todos los días, tenganlo presente todos los días. Así, escríbanlo en grandes letras. ¿Ok? Yo, Rafael Rodríguez, hago lo que tengo que hacer cuando lo tengo que hacer, aunque no lo quiera hacer. 
hago lo que tengo que hacer cuando lo tengo que hacer, aunque no lo quiera hacer. Y te vas a forzar. That's, eso es disciplina. Yeah. Hacer las cosas cuando las quieres hacer. The world has power. Again? The world has power. Las palabras tienen poder. Las palabras tienen poder. Words are power, yes. Totally. Words are power. Yeah. Y ese es el, pero ese es el problema, Irwin. Ese es el problema, que muchos nos repetimos cosas negativas. ¿Qué es lo primero que te decís en la mañana cuando te levantas? Puchica, man, soy un perezoso, decís. No dormí bien. No dormí bien. Ay, no, qué tarde me levanté. Soy un... Voy, voy a hacer un paréntesis. Hay una cuestión que se llama las palabras tienen poder. Las uh -huh. palabras tienen poder hacia las personas que uno está y dice las palabras y hacia uno mismo. Uh -huh. Si uno dice, lo puedo hacer, lo puedo hacer, lo va a hacer. Pero si uno dice, ay, no puedo, ay, aquí, ay, allá, nunca lo va a hacer, jamás. Ojo, señores, en inglés es así también. Te decís que no, has... no puedo hablar inglés. Uh, for me, example, yeah. I try to speak English. I try, I try. Pero vos ya sos rubio, Irwin, ya puedes decir, yo, yo soy gringo, yo soy gringo, Mr. Gringo, Mr. Gringo, ya yes, estuvo. Ok, para nosotros que somos bien autóctonos, ni modo. Ok. I can imagine Irwin with a hat and a boot. You, you imagine Irwin with a hat? And a boot, like a Texan. A oh my God. Ah. <laughs> I a, you have a boat? Like a ranger. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Texas Ranger. Oh my God. I have, I have a long hair. Yeah. Okay. You have long hair, yeah. Long yes, long hair. Long, long Come on, guys. No, really, really. Okay. Try it. Try it. It works. Trust me. ¿Por qué funciona esto? Porque si vieron Es Posible lo Imposible de Omar Villalobos, el primer video que les recomendé desde la primera clase, no sé si lo hice en este módulo. Es Posible lo Imposible, Omar Villalobos. Es Posible lo Imposible, Omar Villalobos. Es un video de YouTube, dura 19 minutos y 18 segundos, algo así. Saca a tu pareja, a tu esposo, a tu esposa, llévalos al, al cuarto. Es decir, si le vamos a ver este video juntos y vamos a hacer de caso que estamos en esa conferencia de TED Talks, seguime. Se lleva a tu hijo si querés, si ya está en edad mayor, ¿eh? que lo vea junto a ti, hagan de caso que están en la conferencia, háblale a tu inconsciente. El problema con esto es que toda la vida te has dejado manipular por lo que los demás te dicen y no te das cuenta, no te das cuenta. Desde chiquito te han dicho no vas a poder lograr eso, es muy difícil. Yo lo intenté, te dice tu papá, yo lo intenté, te dice tu mamá, mejor asegúrate un, un buen futuro, estudia y vos tenés una super idea. ¿Pero qué pasó? Nadie estuvo a tu lado para decirte, no, mi vos podés, hombre. Tienes buenas las manos, estás completo. A vos lo puedes lograr. O sea, y el problema es ese. Si tú no crees en ti, nadie lo va a hacer por vos. Por experiencia, ¿ok? So, too much Spanish. It's just motivation, but it works. Let's move on. A ver, quien se siente empoderado ahorita. Who wants to speak? I feel empowered, teacher. Powerpuff Girls. <laughs> Come on, guys. A volunteer. I'm not going to force you today. Someone. I tried. Excellent. That's the attitude. La actitud es ser raro hoy en día, señores. Si no sos raro en este país, en este mundo, nunca vas a llegar a nada. Ser raro es levantar la mano. ¿Quién es el siguiente de la entrevista? ¿Quién quiere pasar primero? Ok. One, two, three. What's your biggest regret? Uh, I talked about uh, after, before the the before the the breaking rooms, but uh, maybe another bigger regret. Mm. Really? Yeah, in the university, uh, I I. Get late and atrasarse? I don't know. Uh, I'm not here. I, uh, I spent three years because I I reproved uh, a course for two years. For two, for two years. Uh, that was uh, an impact in, in, my, in my career because I spent two years more than the 
the time that uh, take to 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 finish the course, the the, the, the career. Hello. Okay. More than it takes um, to finish the course. Okay. Let's see a little bit uh, about Fernando. I spent three years because I reproved. How else can you say reprobar, guys? How do you say reprobar? Failed. I failed. I failed a course for two years. I had to repeat. Did you ever have a, a classmate who spent like four years on the same grade? Fourth grade. I had a friend, fourth grade. He had been on fourth grade for three years. That was crazy. Okay, I spent three years because I failed the course for two years. I spent two more years. Oh, wait, that was me. I spent two more years. This is the right way. I spent two more years. Then it takes, then it normally takes to finish the career, right? I think you used something else. Are we good there? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, but did, did you finish? You finished the career. Yes, but uh, if in in the in in the past, if I uh, uh, have studied the, the correct way, I didn't fail that course for two years. I uh, I had to to study with more effort, and I know because the 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 dear the dear time that I course uh, that that course, uh, I I approved the, the course with a, a high a high qualification, but oh. I study I study a lot. High score, study. high grade. Awesome. You are not a mediocre. You are not a mediocre. The fact yeah. that you finished something in your life, the fact that you finished something in your life tells us that you are not a mediocre. Okay. Thank you. So awesome. Great job. Congratulations. Not all of us, not all of us can say I finished a career. I had a friend who started industrial engineering, industrial engineering, and he was stubborn he was stubborn let me write the find the right spelling there you go he was stubborn he wanted to be an engineer he wanted to be an industrial engineer as his father so he spent 10 years in the Universidad Francisco Gaviria for 10 years memo memo he, he instead of five six you know he spent 10 years and we were like, hey, stop studying, man. You've been on that career for too long now. 10 years and he graduated. <laughs> and you will leave it. <laughs> but he made it. He was stubborn. Terco. Okay. Next. Okay, Fernando, be nice. Can you help? Who wants? Volunteer? No? Uh, okay. Me, teacher. Excellent. Okay, yes. Of course, that's the point. One, two, three. Tell, tell us about your biggest regret. Okay, my biggest regret is uh, when I was young, I didn't use my time correctly. When I was 16 years old, uh, my father told me, uh, I am the only girl in my family. I have four brothers. And I am the youngest, just a girl. My father told me, you know, you have the permission to do what you want to do. So you can go out, you can do whatever you do, whatever you want. Uh, when I was 15 years old, my father didn't uh, make me a fixing party. I cried because of that. And he told me, I will give you something that is more useful and it will be useful for your whole life. He gave me a car and he teach me to drive when I was too, too young. I used to go out a lot, teacher, and I went to many parties. I met many people, 
in, but I didn't study at the university. I studied the university at the age of 22 because I started working. Uh, go, 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 keep going. I started working at the age of 19 because I really, I really go out, I like to go out. And I, I started the university when I was 22. I remember that I was so jealous because my classmate from school were studying at the university and I was not. <laughs> This is my biggest regret. I should spend my time correctly when I was young. But that's everybody's, but that's everybody's regret. We all regret not spending our time correctly. Okay, how old are you, um, Jocelyn, if I may ask? I don't ask me. Come on, you're 27. young. You're 27. What? I wish I was 27. I ah, wish I was now. 27. I swear, I got married at 28. Wait, no, 27. 27, no, 2008. Okay. Yeah. No, I was not too young. My goal, my goal in life was to have a family. So I had the house already. I had the house. I had a car. I had everything, but I didn't have a wife. So I wanted a family. That's a different story. But hey, <clears throat> you're too young. Extremely young. Thank you. If you have you finished the career, are you planning to continue? I already I am finished. Just awesome. missing the next semester. And, and again, yes, I am at the University of El Salvador. Oh my God. Awesome. And you will be bilingual. Thank you. I hope so. I hope so. You're you are bilingual already. Hey, let's just correct this. Repeat, regret, regret. Regret. Yep, regret. Regret. Uh -huh. Puedes ir abordando una por una la pronunciación de las sílabas. Podrías enfocarte esta semana solo en la r, 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 car, okay. r, regret, rain, road, etc. Por ejemplo. Okay. Next. <clears throat> I didn't get it at the first time you know you said 15 or 16 16 six, 16 six, 16 16 yes 16 very good 16 okay didn't make me didn't make me didn't make me did it make me uh -huh. my father body. didn't make yes. me yeah hey rachel's english don't forget. Okay, he teach me. No, he taught me. He taught me. Ah, yes, in past. He taught yeah. me. And the pronunciation is so simple. It's taught. Okay, he taught me how to drive. He taught me how to drive. Okay, in the Indians, I started, repeat, I started working. I started working. So simple. You got it. And the last one, jealous. Jealous. Homework, John Lennon, jealous guy. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I was dreaming of the past. Oh my God, my voice is coming back. And my heart was beating fast. I began to lose control. My voice is coming back. On Saturday, I couldn't sing at, at church. I tried to sing at church and I couldn't do it. And I bought a guitar for that. Oh my God, what a shame. Okay, let's start the class topic for tonight. In today's lesson, we have to talk about some grammar, but we're gonna start with conversation, which is on your page 27. Okay. So I'm gonna read it first for you so you can mimic the pronunciation, but in this unit, and in this class, I'm sorry, we have to identify the brand components of well-known national brands. And that's what we did yesterday. That's what, what we have been talking about. Identify the brand components of well-known national brands. We did that yesterday, sort of. Um, first question to introduce this topic, is a weak brand a good investment <laughs> is a weak brand a good investment 
No, I don't want to fall in love. Okay. Wicked Game. Christopher Isaac. Is a weak brand a good investment? What happens when a brand doesn't meet consumers' expectations? Okay. What do you consider a weak brand? Can somebody tell me what is a weak brand? Think of national maybe, products. Maybe a brand that is a starting in the market. A startup. Hey, good, good word. A startup brand, startup brand. Hmm? Hmm. Yes, because the, the people uh, doesn't. Oi, 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 oi. No, people doesn't, doesn't. People doesn't meet oi, oi, oi. People doesn't. People doesn't. don't. People don't. Ah, people just people don't 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 they can lo veía con un grupo, perdón. Uh -huh. People don't meet the brand, and that is that is because maybe uh, when a, a brand is starting, uh, uh, usually is a a child of another brand. That is, that is, that isn't a, a a weak brand because they have a backup. When the, the father brand, for example, maybe the parent but, brand, parent brand, uh huh, parent brand. But if you if you you are a a new brand, you are weak because the people don't meet you, don't know you, don't know you. Yeah, people don't know you. What do you think, guys? Is Fernando right? What do you think? Being being the 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 rookie, being the rookie, means something negative remember what we have started a weak brand come on guys i have the reference for for example to you know uh, the the the, the enterprise name it uh, elanin for example that is a, a software factory Consult, consultant, but they they create a brand named Mercandu. Do you, do you know Mercandu? Mercandu is like a Amazon or eBay, but in El Salvador, they, they export uh, products to El Salvador. Uh, they import. They, they, they give facility pay your products. Mm -hmm. And uh, the brand, uh, the brand grow up fast because uh, Elanin was was recognized in the in the market. Hmm. And that's uh, a very good example of, of your point of view. Okay, but what is a weak brand? Other well, example is uh, GameStop. That was a weak brand. GameStop. Because, mm -hmm. It was. Uh, maybe because they, they had a lot of short. A lot of short. Shortages. Uh, when they um, yes. When they go offline. Uh, no, because they they there was a lot of invest, investor invest investment uh, uh, applying uh, thinking that the GameStop go down. That is a chore. For example, when you 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 how do you say apostas? Bet. Bet. Bet bet against to someone. That's why the brand against of go down because many people bet against. Against that brand. Mm -hmm. Okay. But I mean, um I will give you a very clear example. Mm. Juan Valdez, Nescafe, Coscafe. Juan Valdez. What's the weak brand? Monsoon Suave. Coscafe. I'm not asking Criollo. you for, wait, I'm not asking you for other brands. <laughs> Just tell me which one is the weak brand? Nescafe, okay. Juan Valdez, what is the other? Coscafe. You don't, you don't even know Coscafe. 
Coast Cafe. Coast Cafe. Coast Cafe, right? Cafe. Weakest. That's the weakest brand among these three. So the question is, is it a good investment to go for weak brands like that? And what happens when a brand doesn't meet consumers' expectations? What happens with the brand? Okay, a weak brand, a good investment? I don't know. Ask Donald Trump. You know the yeah. story, right? No. Okay. Donald Trump is a millionaire, in case you didn't know. And he made his millions by, well, in part, you know, he used to buy weak brands, weak companies, investing on so many companies at the same time that when they went on bankruptcy, he was not affected somehow. You know, he used to do that. Um, what happens when a brand doesn't meet consumers' expectations? Um, it goes out of the business, I will say. That creates negative impact on the brand, right? So they lose loyalty, they lose customers. Nobody wants to know about the product. If they don't meet uh, consumers' expectations. As, you, as we said yesterday, remember the five aspects of strong branding say no 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 do what you say make your product do what you say it does if you don't comply with this you're going down really quick okay before i split you for five minutes to talk about these two questions i'm just going to do the attendance it's 902 already think about the questions Ada Azucena Cáceres Mendoza. Present, teacher. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Present. Andrés Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present. Elvin Arcides Eguizabal Martínez. Present. Irwin Lagos Andrade. Present, teacher. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present, teacher. Jose Antonio Cubillas Hernández. Present. Juan Alberto Salas Benítez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Did I say Juan Alberto? It's Josué Alberto, right? Salas Benítez, I'm sorry. Yeah, Josué. It's okay, thank you. Juan Francisco Enríquez González. Present, teacher. Thank you. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Present, teacher. Thank you. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Present, Miguel Ángel Pans Landa Verde. Present. Thank you. Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Werner Mauricio Reyes Ángel. Okay. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Suleyma Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Camila. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Present. Irene Azucena Cuellar Albanés. Present. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Iván Manuel Jerez Pérez. Present teacher. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Present. And Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present teacher. Thank you. By the way, guys, today is our session 19 session 19 uh, buenas noticias para todos si sí, ya se está en el proceso de inscripción según me comentó un pajarito por ahí esto no es oficial pero sí me alegró saber de que ya se está en el proceso para el siguiente módulo so, muy probablemente si sí podamos terminar el año con un intermedio 4 so. good job Okay, so let's get together just for, what time is it? 9.05, okay, five minutes just to discuss these two questions with your classmates. Please talk, okay, talk to your classmates. Don't stay quiet. Let's go.
tomorrow? Faith is faith expected to end. Two questions, no? Two, two questions. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It's a with. Uh, what is the question? Excuse me. It's a with brand of good investment. It's on your chat. So I mean, oh. what's up? What's up? Uh, it's in the chat. It's a with. It's yes. a with brand a good investment. Investment. Is a good brand a good investment? Uh -huh. But all the cycle mm -hmm. for me. All the brand has a cycle <laughs> in one or oh, that can be down <laughs> or up. It's a quick brown, a good investment. Uh, I think a brand not well now. I live promote in the will live uh, profile. And I think I'll tell the, it is uh, something that make a difference is you change the strategy. 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 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For, um, for, for example, the food is the promotion and the variety and Diversity, diversity, uh, diversity, diversity uh -huh. an alternative for the people is a is a good in, in, invest, and in, in, I think my care uh -huh. mm -hmm. the, the promotion, the product, I think, mm -hmm. the promotion products. Uh -huh. <clears> oh, <throat> depend the approach, uh -huh. how tight approach. Uh -huh. Si no, no hubieran tantos productos que no son famosos en los supermercados. Por ejemplo, de de coffee. De coffee. De coffee. O café rico, digo. Um, the company is, is several the products. Mm -hmm. I think um, the I think company the the has several products. or depend depend uh, the type of investment 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 investment. investment. Uh -huh. uh, second, what happened while the brand does not meet consumer expect expectation? Mm. Mm, maybe the company will not sell uh, the products and will not be able to uh, the profit is is very very high. And they share. Uh, give me a minute, please. I have to to to. Uh, my brother uh, brings me a, a a paper that I need. Give me a minute. Okay. Okay. No yeah. problem. Take your time. I, I, I think I. Excuse me. No, no, no. Go ahead. I, I see in the pen the, the, the what do you share the I don't know inversionista inversionist yeah investors investor yes. yeah investor depend because the different in, in, in investor uh share um uh with Bram and there are make uh alien strategy and and for example, let me see. Um, there are different. Uh, when I remember a Lego Nintendo, uh, then 
do a uh, strategic um, that grow out the profit of is amazing. I, I think depend on the situation and depend what do you share uh, to- uh, Remember, it's up to. Up to, okay. Uh, instead of depends, I think it's okay. up to. Uh -huh. Up to okay, up to the the uh, the the inversion is Investors. yeah inversion yeah depends because the the investment reach uh, of is obvious of um, the 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 ear a lot of most how to get a rich in, in in economy there is a concept called investment rich if you want to earn a, a lot of more how greater rich this is economy works uh this is uh, this is where where the big companies take advan advantage of the small companies and after after them I think. Yeah, I agree, but you, if you want to. Which word you said, Juan Francisco? Uh -huh. The word you were asking? Rumores. Rumors. Uh, rumor. Uh, okay. Uh, he. He invest in investment in buy a, a famous because he cares about the pandemic. Um, he he do as uh, he do money money today. <laughs> he, today I. Uh, he is uh, he win a licitation with government. He won. He won. He won a uh, one licitation. He won a bid. Hold on. Uh, he won a bid with uh, government. Uh, Biden. Mm -hmm. Today, uh, today, he is a uh, our boss uh, because uh, he saw uh, opportunity in, in that moment. That moment. <laughs> I don't know. It's similar. I my my biggest my biggest regret. Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't. I I had a fright for investment. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. The next. The next question. What happens when a brand doesn't meet consumers' expectations? So you think, guys? Don't scare to the teacher. Don't be scared <laughs> of the teacher. Scared, <laughs> yeah. I'm not here. I'm not here. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> that kind well, of, well. of companies disappear. Because if the company don't sell, twenty five. You you can you can give me twenty five dollars of discount. <laughs> Only that. <laughs> Only that. Yeah. These are good. But I I I, I remember that record is a is a good brand. Record. Yeah, it's a good brand. 
Eu e o Sal. I don't know about that brand. Yeah. What brand? Biduk. Ferretería. Ferretería. You're breaking up. I'm sorry. What? Hardware store. Hardware store. Yeah. Yes. Hardware store. Ferretería. Hardware store. Uh huh. Hardware store. Hardware store. Un es Hartman. <laughs> Hear me about uh, I don't remember yeah. in Rio okay. and Dreadful. So what do you what do you prefer? So are we, you are a battery distributor and so. Yes, yes, uh, yes, yes. You have a good discount with Erwin, Ivan, when you need yes. a new battery. I tried. <laughs> I tried. Okay. I told you made your own batteries. Okay, perfect. Okay. You are only you you are only in San Salvador, right? You don't have a branch in another in other department. But other big other big brands, I remember. Only the the don't choose the Santa Ana. I want to remember, but the problem with the with France in the future grow the company. It's in the song. Oh. Okay. The other one is the Google newspaper is bad. You are. If you are able to to verify that a weak brand could be better in the future, uh, you or you can you can do a forecast about the right and before invest your money because it's your money, right? If, yeah. But in this context, um, even when it's a weak brand. It doesn't mean that this brand can be or could be a, a get a bankruptcy in the future, right? It's depending on the product, I believe. Yeah, because but if, you, if you develop a marketing strategy for the product, it can be change the mind of the people and it can be a, a strong brand. Yeah, it can become a um, strong man, but you need to create a good strategy. Yes. Marketing strategy. I don't know what, what was your opinion about it because <laughs> I lost my inner connection and I, and that's come back and, um, my opinion was the same that you I agree with you if I had the opportunity to invest in a wake brand I would like to do it but I I would like to work in I would like to develop a marketing strategy strategy
Yeah, but in this context, when when you said invest invest money, it's not the same to buy the brand. Just you are going to invest your money in order to your right to improve or the profit about the, the mark, the market the, or the brand. It's not buy the brand. Okay, but I would like to do it in this context. Yeah. Depend, depend on the product. If a, if a, has the product has an excellent quality and and, and, and satisfy a need, a need for the consumer, I think it's okay. Yeah. And what about you and Jocelyn? Tell me. Hi, tell me. And what do you think if you have the opportunity to invest in a wake brand? Do you do it? Wake. Mm. I mm, it depends what uh, brand we are telling and um, maybe I will do it but I guess uh, mm, yes I will do it is the product is moving I will do it okay but, and you can what what is a Okay, 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 okay. Let's keep going. Let's get this going. Not enough time for all that I want from you. Not enough time. Everything, every kiss, been inside you. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun. Okay, people, let's keep going. So um, we have a reading. This is part of your page 27. Page 27. <clears throat> Ready? Let me. And so it says, watch this TV ad. They are selling shoes that can make you float like a feather. They are very popular at work. I will never get a pair of those. They are too expensive. I wouldn't either. I wouldn't either. But a brand, but a, but a brand that delivers what it promises makes customers buy it regardless of price. Maybe they really make you faster. The marketing department sure is good because they get all, they get all these people to buy their shoes. Hmm. The marketing department sure is good because they get all these people to buy their shoes. I think I will buy a pair to see what all the fuss is about. I think I will buy a pair to see what all the fuss is about. What all the fuss is about. Just one more time. Watch this TV ad. They are selling shoes that can make you float like a feather. They are very popular at work. I will never get a pair of those. They're too expensive. I wouldn't either. But a brand that delivers what it promises makes customers 
buy it regardless of price. Maybe they really make you faster. The marketing department sure is good because they get all these people to buy their shoes. I think I will buy a pair to see what all the fuss is about. Questions? New words? What is the meaning of feathers? Feather. You remember Feather. the angels have feathers? Birds have feathers? Oh, oh come yeah. on, really? Yeah, chicken. Feather. And fuss? No fuss? Spanish. Fuss. What? what? Fuss. The last, the last word. No, what's the, the fuss? The fuss. What's fuss. the fuss? It's like a lot of noise. <sighs> what's the fuss? What's the fuss? There's a big disorder. There's a big disorder. You know, a, a big commotion. A big commotion. Everybody's com is on a huge commotion. You know, everybody's talking about it. There's a lot of noise about that. Mm. So what's the fuss? It's not a problem. Okay, don't say, what's the problem? What's the fuss? Mm -mm. A problem is a problem. A fuzz is like a lot of people talking like a lot a of level. Exactly. That's the perfect mm -hmm. translation for for Salvadorian relajo, right? A fuzz. What's a fuzz? Thanks, teacher. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Float like a feather. Float well, like a feather. 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 Popular expensive remember expensive i wouldn't either i wouldn't either i wouldn't either regardless regardless of price regardless of price faster marketing shoes don't say choose please don't say choose shoes <laughs> What all the fuzz is about? What all the fuzz is about? What all the fuzz is about? Okay, let's practice really quick. We only have 10 minutes for this activity and then we come back with the grammar. Keep an eye, keep an eye on the grammar on this conversation, okay? Let's go. Repeat, 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 repeat. You can share. Okay. I think Andrea is your name. Okay, 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 Andrea, Andrea, I'm going to be Andrea. Okay, okay. Go ahead. What do you see? Are uh, they are selling shoes that can make you feel like a uh, feeder? They are very popular at work. I could never get a part of those. They are too expensive. I wouldn't either, but a brand that delivers what it promised makes customers buy regardless of price. Maybe they really make you faster. The marketing department sure is good because they get all the, these people to buy their shoes. I think I will buy a pair to see what all the fuss sees about. Okay. Who's the next? If, if, if you want, if, if you want, um, uh, you're in a change in them another part. Okay. Okay. What uh, what these TV ads they are selling shoes that 
can make your folk like uh, fa fathers? Uh, they are very popular at work. I would never, I would like, I would never get a pair of those. They're too expensive. I couldn't earlier, earlier, but a brand that delivers what is promised may customers buy it regardless of price. Maybe they really made you faster. Regardless. 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 It's regardless. Regardless of, of the price. Of price. Of the price. Continue. The marketing department shoe is good because they get all these people to buy their shoes. I think I will buy a pair to see what all the suit is about. Fuzz. Fuzz. What all the fuzz? What all the fuzz is about? What all the fuzz, fuzz is about? Okay. Change. Another part. Okay. Um, who wants to start? Hello, guys. I'm going to start. Hello. Who wants Hi. to be the next? Hi, Andrea. Okay, go ahead, Andrea. <laughs> <laughs> I'm decent. Okay. Uh, watch this TV ad. They are selling shoes that can make your blood like a feather. They are very popular at work. I will never get a pair of those. Uh, yeah, those. They are too expensive. I wouldn't either, but a brand that delivers what is promised may customer buy it regardless of price. Maybe they really make you faster. The marketing department sure is good because they get all these people to buy their shoes. I think I will buy a pair to see that is that all the shoes popular. 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 Okay. Can you continue? Okay. I will be Andrea. Uh, ah, okay. Ada will be Michi. Watch this TV. Ada, there are certain shoes that can make you float like a feather. They are very popular as well. I will never get a Peter's dogs. They are too expensive. Okay. I will it either, but a brand that the deliveries do what I promise, that it promise makes customer buy. Regardless of price, maybe they really make you faster. The marketing department shoot is good because they get all these people to buy their shoes. I think I will buy a pair to see what all the fuss is about. Teacher, what is the meaning of fuss? Boss. Uh, Fast, fast. fast. <laughs> like fast. Uh, relajo. <laughs> huh? Relajo. Oh, I learned a new word today. What all the fuzz? Yeah. What is all this fuzz? This okay, is my word. <laughs> okay. Do it again, do it again, do it again. Okay, okay. I'm going to be decent. I never. Okay, your Alexander will be Andrea and you will be Bison. Okay, Alexander. Okay. Okay, you begin. Okay, what is this TV ad? They are selling shoes that can make you float like a feather. They are very popular at work. I will never get a pile of those. They are too expensive. I wouldn't either, but a brand that delivers what it promises makes customer buy it regardless of price. Maybe they really make you faster. The marketing department sure is a good because they get all these people to buy their shoes. I think I will buy a pair to see what all the force is about. Okay. Okay. 
La bulla. Yes. La bulla. Ah, bulla. Y like the boys and boys. Y like the uh, uh, advice. Okay. ¿Cuál es la bulla con este producto? ¿no? ¿Cuál es la bulla okay. con este? Ah, okay. Right? Okay. The other one. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Me, Andrea. I listen. <laughs> Me big sense. Watch, watch this TV Al. They are selling shoes that can make you float like a feather. They are very popular at work. Okay. They're mute. Hmm. Adita, you are you are in mute. Okie dokie. So, what did you notice on the grammar? Okay, let's work on something together. Can you translate? really quick um, this first sentence eh, mira este anuncio de televisión no sí pero no eso <laughs> Next, ah, okay. they are selling shoes ah, ellos están vendiendo zapatos que hacen que tú flotes como una pluma hmm. Que tú puedas. Ajá. Que te hacen shoes. flotar. Que, que te pueden pluma. hacerte. Pueden hacerte flotar como, como una, pluma. una pluma. Okay, very good. Okay. I will never get a pair of those. They are too expensive. I wouldn't either, but a brand that delivers what it promises. Okay. Uh, again, a brand that delivers what it promises makes customers buy it. Yeah. Regardless of price. Uh huh. So, una marca que promete que entrega lo que promete. Uh -huh. Makes customer buy. Hace que los, Hace que los clientes compren sin, import sin importar el precio o a pesar del precio. Ah, uh -huh, sin importar el precio. I guess. Sounds better. Okay. Una marca que entrega lo que promete, que da lo que promete o que responde, hace que sus clientes compren el producto sin importar el precio. Hmm. So, están vendiendo zapatos que te pueden hacer volar como un... Flotar. Flotar Flot como una pluma. Pueden hacerte flotar como pluma. And the last one. Okay. Uh -huh. Ellos hacen que la gente Tienen compre sus zapatos. A todas estas personas comprando sus zapatos. Y ellos hacen que todas estas personas, o que todas esas personas, ajá, compren esos zapatos. Compren sus zapatos, sus zapatos, sus de ellos. Ok, simple. So that's the grammar that we're about to talk about in this first section. So these are causative verbs, but before we get there, I think you have some questions to answer. You see? Okay, really quick. Look at the conversation and complete the state the sentences below. A brand that delivers what it promises makes makes customers buy it regardless of price. Number two. Get. Okay, get. get. 
They make or they get? Get. Get. They get, get. They get all these people? To buy. buy. To buy. To buy, buy their shoes. Okay. Good. Do you agree with this? A brand that delivers what it promises, makes customers buy it regardless of price? Yes. Totally, right? I do agree with you, yeah. If you get what you're promised on a brand, then yes, that's awesome. So causative verbs, causative verbs. Complex, no, nah. this is very simple. Verbs make and get, this is the first part of two, okay? Tomorrow we're gonna talk about the second part, if I'm not mistaken. So in this scenario, we're gonna talk about make and get, as causative verbs, porque verbos causales, y lo voy a decir súper rápido, esto se refiere a la acción que ejerce sobre alguien más o que alguien más ejerce sobre ti para hacer algo, cuando alguien te obliga o te forza, te um, hace que hagas algo, ok, una acción. Look at the examples, eh, bueno, vamos con la gramática primero, you have a subject and then the, the verb make plus someone, okay, plus the verb in base form. And this is the key. Esta es la clave de esta gramática. It's bien sencillo, chicos. Solo hay que entender para qué sirve. Y la clave de esta fórmula es la diferencia entre un verbo en su forma base, un verbo eh, sin ninguna preposición precediéndole ni nada, ni siquiera en ING. Ok, Su ve el verbo en la forma base. So, make someone, ok, get someone, infinitive. That's the difference. Look at the examples. The marketing department. So, there's my subject, right? What's my subject? The marketing department. Marketing marketing department. department. It's a subject. Then we're going to use make as causative verb, okay? Then we need someone. Who is someone here? Employees. Employees, Employees. or something. I, I, I could say something as well, not just someone. The marketing department makes employees in this case and the base form of the verb, revise. Okay, who makes who? The marketing department makes employees revise goals and metrics every month. Okay, so again, what's the subject? What is the subject on the next sentence? The poor identity the poor. of the brand. You got it. That's the subject, the poor identity of the brand. How do you replace this subject? What subject? It. Perfect. It. Okay. Causative verb. Oh, teacher, but that's made. Yes, it's the past of make. Someone? People. 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 And the base verb. Look. Look. I will say look for, right? This is a phrasal verb. Look for. Exactly. It's a phrasal verb. Look for products from different companies. So, okay. And the last, what is the subject? The brand experience by Samsung. This whole thing, right? It. And again. And again. Yeah. And again, someone. Okay. And finally, again, the verb on its base form. And of course, a compliment, right? Their mobile phones. Okay. So far, so good. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Excepciones a esta regla, y eso en toda la gramática americana o inglesa, como le quieran llamar, son las letras o nombres de canciones. Okay, eso es inglés informal. So, si ves algo como you make loving fun, you make loving fun, the Fleetwood Mac, you make loving fun, 
eh, está, no está aplicada esta regla, ¿ok? No es un verbo causal. Y a la vez sí. So, se viola esta regla, se puede decir. Ok. Get. La diferencia con get ahora es que voy a ocupar to love. Ya no voy a decir love, ahora voy a decir to love. Voy a ocupar el infinitivo. So, subject, I. Ok. Can, se está ocupando can, ok. Get someone to love. I can get someone to love. Ok. Be careful how you use get. I can get no satisfaction. Ok. I can get customers to love our premium services. Ok. Help me. What is the subject on the next sentence? Project managers say it's not possible to. Project mm. manager. Project manager. Okay, that's the subject here. The action he performed, okay, said it is not possible. Okay, what is not possible? To get, get all those consumers. Get someone. Who is someone? All those customers. All those customers. Okay, what is it that they, he couldn't do? What is it that the manager couldn't do? He couldn't make, he couldn't get all those customers to feel identified with the brand in a short time. Okay, get all of them to feel. Get all of them to feel. Maybe the next example is clearer. What's the subject here? The advertising events. The advertising yes. events. Okay. What is the verb? The causative verb. Get. Yeah, in this case, you're conjugating. That's the only difference. You're conjugating the, the verb. We'll get. Someone? We'll get. People. 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 Okay. The infinitive? To order. To order. To order. That's right. Okay. To order to order something products online more often okay would you like to give it a try would you like to try it out questions okay let me throw the rock let me throw the rock this is the compliment this is the compliment my son to wake up early. My son to wake up early. Make a negative sentence. My son to wake up early. I can get my son to wake up early. You got it. I can get my son to wake up early. Okay, someone else give the verb and the compliment. Brush, brush your teeth uh, after after it. After eating. After eating. After brush after eating. your teeth after eating. Okay. Brush your teeth after eating. Teeth. Teeth. Don't say teeth. Don't say teeth. <laughs> Uh huh. My mother always made me brush my teeth after eating. You heard? My mother always made me brush my teeth. After eating, mi mamá siempre me obligaba, me hacía lavarme los dientes antes de, perdón, después de comer. Y eso es lo que estamos viendo. Cuando alguien te obliga a hacer algo o algo te forza a hacer algo. Teacher, the moment, for, yeah, yeah. For example, my older sister 
Make me wash the dishes. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> Ojo, ahí hay un objeto indirecto. Makes me, make you, made someone do something. Okay. Okay. The meaning of the sentences with make and get is the same. No. Make. Hacer que alguien haga algo. Get. You make me feel brand new. You, yes. Get someone. Okay. <laughs> Get someone. Um, lograr que alguien haga algo. So, de nuevo. Hacer que alguien haga algo sería make. Sleima. Lograr que alguien haga algo sería get. Ok. Tiene sentido, ¿no? Uh -huh. A lot of sense. Ok. Uh, people in El Salvador get crazy. Wait, hold on. Uh, In the Salvador, get people. No. The traffic jam, the traffic jam. It makes me feel. Okay. Comfortable. Okay, the traffic makes me feel uncomfortable. The traffic makes Salvadorians. I mean, the, tra the combination of traffic and rain makes hmm. Salvadorians go crazy. Makes Salvadorian go crazy. Makes Salvadorians go crazy. <laughs> okay. It's Be careful. Yeah, let's try to use get. Can somebody make a sentence using get? Teacher. Mm -hmm. You say that get is the is in, in Spanish lograr Ajá, lograr que alguien haga algo but what is the difference the accomplishment to accomplish um someone mm, accomplishment por sí solo is a word it's not a verb to accomplish alcanzar algo but um, to reach a dream reach something a goal you reach something, a goal, a personal goal. Okay. Mm -hmm. For example, I didn't get, I didn't, I didn't get my mom to buy me a new bicycle. I didn't get my mom. Mm -hmm. yeah. No logré que mi mamá me comprara una bicicleta. I didn't get my mom to buy me a, a bicycle. You got it. Can I modify the verb? Yes, I'm getting my students to learn English faster. I'm getting my students to learn English faster. <laughs> Come on, William, try it. Okay. Teacher, can we get for the future? I will get mm -hmm. well, or I will make. How will you do it? I will get. I don't know. Maybe I, I will get um, my boss give me a better oh, 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 there's that's the point. That's the point, Mr. Ernesto. Repeat, I will get my boss mm -hmm. to give me. Oh, yeah. Give me. Be careful with that. That's the point. I will get my boss to give me a, a, a salary increase, a raise. Mm -hmm. I will get my boss to get. I will get my boss to give me a raise. Good. Okay. Okay, guys. Questions. Questions. Make sentences. Come on. Tomorrow we're gonna we're going to practice this. Hasta que nos sangre la boca en los ojos. Come on. 
more examples. I'm only listening to the same students. Where are the others? Juan Francisco, questions. Bien, chicos, tienen dos minutos, un minuto nada más. Come on. Necesito que I me digan si hay alguna friend, duda. I can get my friend, for example. Okay, I can get my friend. Prefer. Prefer. I can get my friend to prefer me. To prefer me. Ajá. No logro que mi amigo me prefiera. I cannot, I can't get my friend to prefer me. I can't get my students to speak in the class. Teacher, hey. my, my son get learned in my, my son in my son to get learned to read. It's correct. No, okay. I can't get my son to read a little. Okay. No logro que mi hijo lea un poco. No logro que mi hijo lea un poco. I can't get my son to read little. Ah, okay. I can get my dog. I can get my dog uh, to keep inside the house. I can get my dog to stay, to stay. inside the house. Yes. Teacher. Yep. Uh, if I say I can get my car start. I can get my car started. Start. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, in that case, started is not a verb. It's not infinitive. It is an infinitive. Yeah, it has to be the infinitive. I can't get my car to start. I can to get start. my car to start. Okay. No logro que mi carro encienda. Good job. Okay. This is part of page um, 27. Make sure you study this topic is 9.59. And tonight I'm staying with Suleyma Ivonne Moreno de Hernandez for 10 minutes. Why me? Okay. Let's you go, guys. You can get that. You can get that. <laughs> get it, get it, get it. Good night, everybody. A la Susana Cáceres Mendoza. <laughs> Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Present. Andrés Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present. Good night. Elvin Alcide Seguizabal Martínez. Present. Good night, everybody. Good night. Irwin Lagos Andrade. Present, teacher. Good night. Good night. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Good night. Good night, Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present. Good night. Good night. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present teacher. Good night, everybody. Jose Antonio Cubias Hernández. Jose Alberto Salas Benítez. Present teacher. Good night. Good night, Juan Francisco Enriquez González. Present teacher. Good night. Good night, Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Present teacher. Good night. Good night, Luis Ernesto Romero Argenta. Present teacher. Good night. Good night, Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Good night. Roberto Luis Umaño Arellana, Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present, good night. Good night. Warden Mauricio Reyes Ángel, William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present, good night. Good night. Suleyma Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present, good night. Ah, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Alan Christopher Abrego Orizuela. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Irene Azucena Cuellar Albert. Albanés. Present, good night. Good night. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa, Iván Manuel Jerez Pérez. Uh, present, good night, everyone. Good, good night. Rene Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Present, good night, teacher. Good night. And Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present, good night. Good night. I think que Carolina se durmió. Okay. Bye bye. Okay, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm really fine. Great. Hey, have we met before? 
Mm. Oh. No, I don't how get it. come? How come we never met before? Como así? How come? How come? <laughs> how come? That's the way you say como así, right? How come? How come? Como así o how come? Uh -huh. how come this is our first session, Ben. Primera sesión. Okay. Siempre en esos, yo en esa sesión, es la primera vez con alumnos de esta manera. No, mentiras. Siempre les pregunto dos cosas para iniciar la primera sesión. Um, número uno, ¿cuál ha sido su experiencia con el inglés? ¿Es la primera vez que está en, este, en un curso de inglés? ¿O si empezó con Regal, con inglés corporativo desde cero? Y la segunda, mucho, muy importante, ¿Qué estoy haciendo aparte de la clase para aprender inglés, para mejorar el inglés? Ok, no es la primera vez. El <gasps> problema es... No, que... perdón. ¿No es la primera vez que estamos juntos? No, si es la primera vez que estamos juntos en una sesión. No, no es la primera vez que estudié inglés. Ok. Ok. Pero nunca había terminado el curso. Um, hace como unos ocho años más o menos. Empecé a estudiar en una academia que incluso yo recibía las clases en mi lugar de trabajo, pero las tenía que recibir en mi hora de almuerzo. Lamentablemente, poco a poco la gente fue desatando y ya no continuaron, eh, a pesar de que nosotros pagábamos el 100% de, de lo que costaban las clases. Entonces quedó así. In, solamente en teoría me gradué de, de básico, pero nunca me dieron título, no me mandaron nada, que es como que no hubiera hecho nada. Después me metí a estudiar en la nacional, en la universidad nacional, uh -huh. pero tampoco pude terminar por cuestiones de tiempo, del trabajo, problemas económicos. Este, tampoco terminé. Eso fue en el 2018, creo. Uh -huh. Y la verdad solo llegué hasta el nivel 6 o 7, creo. Nada más de 22. ¡Wow! Uh -huh. Y cada Pero módulo duraba un mes. Cada módulo duraba un mes, solamente eran los sábados. Los sábados. Ah, mañana. ok. Ajá, era sabatino. Uh -huh. Entonces, esta vez yo me di cuenta, no porque en mi trabajo hubieran dicho algo, sino porque yo lo vi en Facebook. Y cuando yo vi en Facebook que decía que era patrocinado por Insafor y que lo único necesario es que la empresa cotizara y todo esto, entonces dije yo, bueno, voy a pedir los documentos, los pedí, me los mandaron, los imprimí. Y cuando fui a Recursos Humanos, sorpresa, el programa existía y había gente adentro. Entonces yo estuve preguntando, anduve por aquí, por allá, hasta que al final logré que me metieran porque eh, yo soy asistente y a las personas que tenían dentro solo eran supervisores, jefes y cosas así. Mm. Pero como, no, ni modo, ya, ya yo me había dado cuenta, ya me habían dicho que sin Ya se dio no cuenta, son. dijeron los jefes. Mm -hmm. Entonces aquí estoy. Y la verdad es un poco difícil el horario y estar estudiando todos los días, pero esta vez dije, no, 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 no puedo dejar escapar, tengo que terminar. Empecé en el básico 4. Y ahorita ya estoy en el intermedio 4, entonces ya prácticamente voy más de la mitad, entonces tengo que terminarlo. Yep. Totalmente de acuerdo con eso, súper bien. Uh -huh. ¿Qué estoy haciendo para mejorar? ¿Qué? Bueno, tengo compañeros que están estudiando, solo que están en un nivel anterior. Uh -huh. Entonces, por lo menos siempre trato de, bueno, tratamos de más medio ahí chapucear cuando nos encontramos en los pasillos. O a veces voy por el pasillo caminando y voy repitiéndome qué es lo que voy a hacer y tratando de repetirlo. ¿Cómo lo voy a, eh, cómo se diría en inglés? Por ejemplo, I am walking to the office. Uh, uh, I need to take my lunch because I'm hungry. And something, cosas así, repitiéndomelo. Y... Por ejemplo, yo tengo algo, a mí casi solo me gusta escuchar música en inglés. Por eso a mí casi cuando escucho música solo me gusta usar los audífonos porque no cualquiera comparte mis gustos musicales. Entonces yo tengo una aplicación, que esa aplicación, eh, aparte de que 
puedes escuchar, es como un reproductor cualquiera, pero te muestra la traducción de las canciones. Mm. Entonces a mí me sirve para estar palabras que tal vez yo no las logro identificar escuchando la canción, las puedo conocer viendo cómo es la letra y ahí me voy dando cuenta, digamos, de cómo es la pronunciación. Incluso en las canciones se pueden conocer nuevas frases. Comparte el link de esa app. Ahí en el chat, en serio. Um, y, lo bien chivo el video que... que compartió ayer, ahora. ¿no? ahora. Sí, me encantó cuando lo vi. Súper, súper, súper. Y claro, el que es, lo que estábamos, es lo que estábamos hablando de la nostalgia y todo eso. Y ahí está. Como una estrategia de mercadeo. Todo resumido. Sí. sí, todo resumido. Súper bien. Bueno, eh, a ver, la felicito tiene algo que, que yo tuve, no sé ni cómo. En mi infancia fue, como usted dice, ¿no? algo raro que a uno le gusta. Eh, esto del inglés me llamó la atención, pero me gustó lo que dijo, el hecho de que le gusta la música en inglés y que nadie comparte sus gustos, que así aprende la pronunciación. Solo necesito que se mueva al siguiente stage. Eh, como estoy clavada con el inglés, vea. Y me gusta la música en inglés, pero me falta algo, escucharme a mí mismo. Y eso es importantísimo ahorita. Ahorita ya en esta etapa ya, adiós al español, me voy a escuchar a mí misma. Quiero verme misma qué está diciendo en inglés y cómo lo dice. Entonces necesito un parámetro para, para juzgarme a mí mismo. Entonces lo que puedo hacer es buscar audios con texto Sí, porque cantar, bueno, a mí me funcionó, no sé. <ríe> a mí me funcionó cantar y, y aprenderme las letras como usted dice que decía. Porque algo, algo que sí me pasaba y es lo más chivo que te puede pasar cuando te gusta una canción es como la cantas y no sabes qué estás diciendo. La mayor parte de la lírica sí se entiende, pero hay gaps, hay unos vacíos que aunque no sepas qué estás diciendo, lo pronuncias. Después lo averigua uno. Y eso está bien, pero hay que ir llenando esos vacíos. Entonces, algo que sirve mucho es buscar textos, no sé. Ahí les envié un, un vínculo en, um, en el WhatsApp de una página que se llama Ron Chan, que abarca todo eso. No sé si se los envió o si se acuerda haberlo visto. Estuve viendo uno que mandó donde es, hay como jueguitos para ir viendo las actividades y están los nombres de las actividades y después este, ahí dice digamos si es eh, respuesta negativa, positiva o si es la, la acción, ahí estuve haciendo varios de esos. Mire, esto lo han cambiado ellos han puesto muchos anuncios publicidad, pero igual ahí están más de 250 audios si alguna vez me llegan a escuchar, es pura publicidad la que les hago porque así es bueno. No sé si ellos han, se han dado cuenta del valor que tiene esto. ¿Por qué? Porque yo puedo agarrar cualquier audio sin discriminarlo a este punto. En especial yo soy intermedio 3. Y ya se nos acabó el tiempo, pero igual. Puedo agarrar un audio por semana. Ok. Sin discriminarlo. Lo abro, veo el texto, lo puedo imprimir o copiarlo con un cuaderno que es solo para eso. Y puedo incluso algunos descargarlos en el teléfono. Entonces, yo escucho, primero dos, tres días y me cuesta, con la boca cerrada, solo leyendo el texto y ir escuchando, leyendo y escuchando. Son conversaciones siempre entre dos personas. Tercer, cuarto día, ya empiezo a repetir, tratando de entonar, a repetir, tratando de decir cómo se escucha. Dos días así, quinto día. Sexto día, empiezo a grabarme. Al le leyendo eso y después le doy play al unísono, al celular y al audio que hacen en la página ¡Puc! ya, y esto se llama autocorrección va a llegar un punto en el que usted va a decir, uy no qué feo, dije eso, eh, qué chido y después, con... es más háganle un juego, si le gusta algún dulce, los toffees por ejemplo o no sé chocolate. no sé, no sé. chocolate, va, chivo pero chiquitos, chocolates un chocolatito por cada vez que, que diga, que me diga a mí mismo, wow, qué chido me sale esa palabra. No voy a hacer trampa, tampoco, sino que solamente premiarse. La, la, la gratificación instantánea es una cosa maravillosa. Gratifíquese usted misma, dígase muy bien, muy bien, Solena. Buen trabajo. O lo contrario, 
bueno, dijiste que mañana ibas a comer pollo campero, pero como no lograste la meta de la semana, no te sale igual el audio, te faltan cinco palabras, un mínimo, cinco palabras, lo siento, se lo mañana, puras verduras. Gran castigo. ¿eh? No sé, son ideas extremas. Ya saladas todo el día. Ah, vaya, pues entonces. Pero sí me entiende, el punto es forzarse uh -huh. y número uno, número uno, autocorregirse. Porque si usted llega, ya está llegando, según lo que me dice, ya está llegando a ese nivel en el que el cerebro empieza ya a adaptarse al lenguaje y empieza a autocorregirse. ¿Qué fue lo que me pasó a mí? De alguna u otra manera, no, no, nunca supe cómo hasta que tenía 35 años empecé a analizarme y a identificar esos patrones de comportamiento en mí mismo, a decirme, pues ya, ¿por qué me corregía yo solo? Eh? Incluso en todo lo que hago, yo a veces me quedo viendo el video que acabamos de grabar, se convierte, lo reviso, luego si hice algún gesto que me incomodó a mí mismo, o sea, hasta ese punto llego, pero es, es un poco de locura, la verdad. Sí, yo siento que a veces uno es como demasiado exigente con uno mismo. Es, en cierta forma es, es bueno. Por ejemplo, yo nunca, nunca voy a tener una canción en mi lista de reproducción si yo no sé qué significa. O sea, porque hay gente que escucha canción y qué chivo, y qué dice, ¿sabes? No, eso, eso no me acuerdo. Puede ser súper chivísima la canción, pero si no me gusta uh -huh. lo que dice. Yo, no, para Ay. afuera. Hay una canción de Tracy Chapman que yo no he querido traducir. Varias he traducido, o sea, mentalmente me pongo a traducirlas, pero hay una que no la quiero traducir. O sea, ya de pequeño la escuchaba, no la quiero traducir. Y así con, con muchas otras. Um, pero es, es, es lo contrario, lo que se dice. No me gusta saber a veces lo que dicen las canciones porque ya me ha pasado. Me emociono con una canción, me encanta cómo suena, cómo... Se oye súper bien y es cuando le van a traducir, Dios mío, qué feo lo que dice. Terrible. Así como la de, la de, ¿cómo se llama? La de sopa de caracol. No, así como una que me dijo un alumno de básico 1 y se careó que les conté, creo. Ajá. Y se puso, teacher, tradúzcame esta, pongamos esta canción y veamos qué dice y póngale careo que vea. Y empezó a cantar, turn between two lovers, feeling like a fool. Y era un hombre y se quedó, uy. Y toda la vida he cantado esa canción, dice yo. So, peligroso el inglés. Cuidado. Okay. Sí. Estaba pensando, ahorita que estábamos hablando sobre los, ¿cómo se llama? Los audios. Uh -huh. Los audios es algo que en todas las clases presenciales se da. Porque yo me recuerdo que estaba el oral, el escrito y el listening. Uh -huh. Y muchas veces siento que esos audios te ayudan a afinar el oído, pero quizás como en la modalidad virtual no se tiene todo eso, pero sería bueno que de vez en cuando nos mandara un audio y ver uh -huh. y que entendieron. <risa> entendieron unas dos o tres palabras. O, Hacerles o preguntas, si hacerles como un pequeño quiz. ¿eh? Sí, está bien. Uh -huh. Me llega la sugerencia. Super Porque... Bien. También hay, hay gente que tal vez, en, en, yo siento que en la clase es demasiado tímida o tal vez está en otras cosas, no sé, entonces... No es timidez, a este punto ya es um, preocupación personal, autocrítica, de decir, el juela, ya estoy en intermedio tres, todos están hablando y estoy pues, perdido. Y sí se lo digo, por experiencia, por que lo noto en algunos compañeros, y sí, ya los he abordado personalmente en WhatsApp, ¿verdad? porque sí, hay personas que, o sea, y, en, y, el, y el problema es lo que les decía, no, no sé si lo hice al principio de este, de este módulo con ustedes que, que se unieron, decirles el hecho de que entre mayor está uno, más cosas, más cuesta esto, sí. más paradigmas tiene uno y es difícil votarlos y pues... Por más que yo le diga a algunos alumnos que ya están mayores, mire, esto es así, 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 y le haga dibujitos y todo. Si no se aplica. Mm. Uh -huh. Es que primero debe ser una convicción porque sé que es algo que me va a servir a mí. Yo, por Exacto. ejemplo, ahorita, no me da pena decirlo, ya tengo 41 años. Y siempre me ha usado el inglés y hoy dije, no, ni modo, tengo que terminarlo. <risa> y si termino el inglés el otro año, primero Dios, ¿Quién quita y tal vez me ponga a estudiar francés? O sea, lo francés siempre, siempre me ha gustado. Uno en este país, bueno, creo que nadie piensa en su futuro, en la vejez. Y no es broma, o sea, yo, yo lo he hecho, o sea, 
sé que puedo llegar a los 70 años si Dios me lo permite. Y todavía trabajando en un call center sentado todo el día. Hoy de la casa, es como lo estoy haciendo ahorita. Además, tengo que aprovechar algo. Cuando yo estudiaba inglés en el trabajo, mi profesor era profesor de inglés y de francés. Y una vez nos pusimos a estar diciendo así palabrita, me enseñó como unas cuantas frases y unas cuantas palabras así aisladas. Y me dice, ¿sabes qué? Me dice, Vos tenés una gran ventaja, me dice, porque lo que más le cuesta a la gente me, es obtener el acento. Tal vez no aprender en sí lo que es el idioma, sino el acento que es el, para hablar francés. Y vos el acento lo tenés. Me. Y yo no sé, pero dicen de que para aprender bien el francés eh, es conveniente aprender primero el inglés. Si uno aprende el inglés, es un poquito más fácil aprender el francés. Y me dice, vos estás aprendiendo inglés y tenés el acento. Me dice. Yo pienso igual que algunas personas traemos para hablar inglés, para hablar otro idioma. Eh, es como la, la articulación, pero más que todo es porque se ha desarrollado desde la infancia. Quizás desde la infancia usted cantaba sola. No, de la infancia solo me enseñaban el verbo to be en el colegio. De, no, de me refiero a que cantar, hasta cantar en español, o sea, o hacer no. la en china, no sé. Pero uh -uh. Hay, hay algo. <risa> tengo, no, que estudiar eso, tengo que estudiar eso yo, porque hay personas que sí atraen para esto. ¿A qué se debe? A mí, en mi caso, y lo que he pensado hasta ahora es que algo influyó en su historia que le motivó, que encendió esa chispita, o sea, algo pasó. Le, le, ah, porque en mi caso, fui, así fue, a los seis años mi mamá se fue y pues, que es Estados Unidos, que es todo esto, ¿no? Empecé con la curiosidad. Pero bueno, cualquier okay. cosa, igual, si usted me quiere enviar un audio y me dice, teacher, alguna observación, aquí estoy, ¿ok? Ok, teacher. Muchas gracias. Good night, Leima. Rest. Good night, Bye bye. Thank you.